Hi everyone! This week is Infant Mental Health Awareness Week. So I thought it would be a really good idea to share with you guys at home an activity that really can boost happiness and lift the mood in your home. So in our toddler groups we often try to encourage toddlers to do singing because it not only helps build their social skills but their confidence and their well-being. And if a child at home is now feeling a little bit anxious because they're not being able to see their friends and things are a little bit stressful at home at the moment, aren't they? We can start to feel quite low and maybe we're experiencing some meltdowns and anxiety. Well, singing can help with all that because it can help build a connection between the parent and the child and security and happiness and boost the endorphins in our brain which is the happy hormone to sort of help us through this time. So like I just said we encourage all our groups to do a singing time so that gives the toddlers opportunity to share in some different songs and have a little bit of fun. So if you attend a toddler group at the moment, or usually, or you're a leader watching this video, you might know what a rhyme sack is. So this is just a little bag, like a little PE bag. I've actually made this one myself, but inside are different things that are related to different songs. So how this would work is you just get your children to pick out of the bag and pick a song to sing. So for example, I might have the wheels on the bus. So this could be the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. You can add anything you want into a rhyme sack as long as you can sing a song or a nursery rhyme that's linked to that object. Like Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she phoned for the doctor to be quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his bag and his hat and he knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. He looked at the dolly and he shook his head and he said, Miss Polly put her straight to bed. He wrote on a paper for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning, yes I will, will, will. So this is a rhyme bag. And parents, this is really easy to do at home with your children. You can just use an old PA bag, pumpkin, um, or any kind of bag really, and just find things from around the home to put in there. Some other ways to encourage singing at home could be to use a rhyme wheel. I don't know if you can see that there. And if you're a, a toddler group leader watching this, you could create one of these two for your toddler group. If you're thinking about a change, it's really simple, especially for leaders who are not very confident or don't really like singing or don't know that many songs. You can be in charge of this because you can add whichever um, nursery rhyme you want to the wheel. But yet the children are making the decision of which one to choose. And all I've done here is I've blue tacked these on so you can swap as often as you like. And the children will spin and it will land on a song and you will sing that song. So for example, Incy Wincy Spider. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout Down came the rain and washed the spider out Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain So incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again That's nice isn't it? Another idea if you want something different is I've just used an old plastic beaker and I've got myself some wooden spoons and what I've done here is on the wooden spoons I've drawn the pictures so this one would be up 
The tall white candlestick, climb little mousy brown, right to the top, but he couldn't get down. So he called for his grandma, 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 but grandma was in town. So he curled himself into a ball and he rolled himself back down. And you can add anything you want onto this. And it's just creating that bit of extra fun during your singing times. Getting children to take turns. If it goes round, we have a turtle. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, he ate up all the soap. And now he's got a great big bubble in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop! Children love that one, don't they? But these are just some ideas of how you can do extra singing at home. You can sing anywhere you like, in the car, in the bath, in a den, in bed, anywhere. If you're struggling with children at the moment, with their mood, if they're feeling quite low, if they're having lots of meltdowns, take a moment, take a breath, sit down together and just sing. Laugh and have fun because it really, really does increase the mood. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you can have some fun with singing today.